I'm in the process of recapping all of the capacitors in the vertical section and here is something very strange. Pin 8 of the vertical output tube is supposed to have a 27 K or 2.7 I'm sorry 2.7 K resistor from here to here. Here are two half watt 2.7 K resistors in parallel which of course is 1.3. Why would they and this was just tacked on by the way it wasn't really even um, soldered onto that properly. It, it stuck but all I did was touch the soldering gun to that and bing they came right off. And I looked at the schematic and I thought remember that that weird capacitor that they had uh, going from the uh, output of the vertical output to here to right to here to the center tap of the uh, vertical uh, or the uh, brightness control very strange very strange indeed anyways I'll put the proper resistor in here I don't I really don't understand that the only thing I can assume is the other technician that did that must have thought that resistors work like capacitors in parallel. Uh, 2.7 uh, um, uh, two 2.7s in parallel come to 1.3. I don't have, and as rule of thumb goes, if you need a resistor or you need a specific screw, you can have a thousand of them in your collection, but you're not going to have the one you need. It just seems to work out that way. So here are two half watt resistors that come out to 2.7 K. Uh, that's what I'm going to put in. I'm going to take his, uh, th these resistors obviously will go. So here's what I've done so far. I've replaced all of the wax capacitors involved in the vertical circuits here. These are all new, these three, this one here. I've also replaced the on, on the chassis electrolytic cans uh, with these capacitors, this one. Now I've labeled them accordingly. Um, uh, the, you know, here's C4A, C4B, and C4, C is right here. This is a 60 mic, 233s in parallel. Um, same thing with C5. Here's uh, C5A is right here. C5B is right up here. C5C is this 50, 50 volt, uh, 50 mic, 50 volt cap here. So I'm going through the circuits to make sure I didn't make any drastic mistakes. I'm replacing some of these 2 watt resistors. Here's the 68, uh, a 68, 6.8K resistor I replaced, 2 watts. Uh, the other one was like uh, 2000 ohms too high. So it's about the progress so far. So here it is as a result of the uh, vertical capacitors I replaced. It's still out of whack. There's things wrong with it. Uh, I've replaced none of the wax capacitors in the, the horizontal circuits or for that matter the uh, IF circuits. Nothing's been touched there uh, except for maybe a couple of capacitors I had to replace because they were in the way. But uh, I'm making progress. Uh, it's a lot better than it was when I first started on it, that's for sure. There's some weird things with it. The contrast seems to affect the horizontal. If I turn, uh, see how it goes. I think Bob Anderson had this problem. There's something not right with the contrast control. Um, something not right with it. That's the brightness control. Here's the brightness all the way up. So actually when this tube warms up, uh, it, <laughs> as low as it tested in my tester, it has some life left to it. Isn't that amazing? 
So this will be the end of this part. I'll be replacing more capacitors on it.